Today I will be showing you how you can do the whip transition. Shut the fuck up, mom! Mr. Jack. So the two clips I've chosen to demonstrate the whip transition is a scene from my favorite porno and Kanye's face, because he, he just looks kind of silly in this video. So we're going to go to our toolbox, which we already have open, and we're going to go to our video transition. We're going to scroll down until we see motion, and we're going to choose the push effect. And we're going to make sure that it's on both clips right here. So next we're going to click on it, and we're going to go in, and we're going to look at the duration next. Uh, I like to go anywhere between 0.4 and 0.2 seconds, because it ensures a quick transition, almost like a, an actual whip. So, as you can see, it's kind of, it's there, but... It doesn't look smooth, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the ease, and we're going to go to in and out. Now, this makes it look a lot smoother. Watch. Wow. Pretty cool, dude. Oh, my God. Okay, so now that we have that done, uh, you can do whatever you want with the feather. I don't, I don't really give a fuck. Uh, honestly, I don't prefer it, but, you know, that's for you to figure out. So, do that. Don't ask me. Uh, next, we're going to go into our effects, and we're going to go up till we see adjustment clip. And we're going to align this so that it overlays perfectly over our transition. Might have to do the magnet tool, you know, because I'm a little disabled. And next we're going to go to our open effects now. We're going to go to the directional blur and we're going to apply that to the adjustment clip. So we're going to go to the effects. And as you can see, we have the blur strength and blur angle. These are the only two settings that really matter on this one right here. So I'm going to set this to zero real quick because we're going to make three keyframes. Two of them have zero in them, so it's just easier to do it that way. But the next one is a blur angle. You don't have to mess with this. You don't have to make keyframes for it at all. You can just set this to 180 since we're going on a left to right plane. There's no change in angle. It's a symmetrical plane. So now we're going to make our keyframes. One at the beginning. One at the intersection point, And one... Okay, what the fuck? One at the end so now we're going to go to the middle one and we're just going to look and we're going to be like okay let's uh let's do our blur strength and you can adjust it to your preference holy shit that is fucking crazy i've never done that actually so as you can see let's watch it through pretty cool man oh my god and if you want to add a little extra spice we can go to our sound effect up here shift click and line up this peak of the audio with the center or the intersection point of the two videos and watch now that's mr tech if you didn't like this video you can do me a favor and kill yourself if you did like this video mommy wants to lick you and pet you on the head scrunch your little nose